Are you utterly lost and confused when it comes to hormones? More importantly, are you frustrated at how you feel because you know your hormones are jacked and you want help? You've come to the right place. I was lost and confused and frustrated as heck because my hormones were jacked and I'm on the other side of the train. So I can save you a lot of time and frustration. Tune in to learn my lessons Cut to the front of the line and get your hormones balanced fast. Hey everybody, Kelly Alexa here, fitness fanatic, serial entrepreneur, confidence coach, and most recently, keto convert. Like you, I have struggled with hormonal imbalance for the better part of 10 plus years. And it was only most recently, earlier this year, that with the help of my new functional medicine doctor, I was able to get to the point where I got on the right diet plan, the right uh, bioidentical hormonal medicines and supplements, and just the right combination of doing everything that worked. And I mean by worked, not just kind of made me feel okay, but made me feel, look, and, and just everything. I look and feel and, and, and everything's working optimally. I have never felt better. And this is what I wanna pass on to you. It is my passion to help other women not waste time. It is my passion to help other women see that life can be the absolute best as we age. It's not all downhill after 40. This can be the best part of your life if you address your health, if you address your hormones. And when you do, that's when the magic begins. So dive in with me. Let's get started on how not to waste time, how to optimize those hormones and really start living. You guys know the drill. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and also make sure you hit the little bell button so that you're notified every single time that we put up a new video because you know you're gonna love what I'm throwing down here on this channel. Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. The truth is I decided to shoot this video today completely off the cuff because, well, first of all, the, the most popular content on my YouTube channel has been this topic of hormonal imbalance and it's also what i'm most passionate about for myself uh why wouldn't i be it's it, it's been the thing that threw me the biggest curveball as a as a fitness fanatic it it made me have to experience like here i am working so hard to get fit and my body's working against me so it threw me a big curveball and, and i had to figure out a way to address it and so therefore it became something that was important to me. And then because it became important to me and people were following my struggle, it became important for me to find a way to tackle it so I could be an example to other people. And obviously now that I have found a way to tackle it, now that I have come out on the other side, now that I at age 52 have found this exceptional transformation, have have experienced this overwhelming, overwhelmingly positive, crazy, wonderful experience where I've, you know, just since, so I'm recording this in October, and just since the beginning of June, I've lost 24 inches off my body and 18 pounds at a very reasonable, you know, like pound a week, maybe a little bit over a pound a week, um, slow but steady weight loss, but yet, on the other hand, in that period of time, that's more of a transformation and a body transformation and a body recomposition that I've had in the past decade. This experience has been so overwhelmingly positive and moving to me. I, I just, I could shout it from the mountaintops. It, 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 it's moving to me, it's so exciting to me and it gets me excited to share with all of you with with all the women out there who i know don't know about this who don't know that this is like the missing link for women with hormonal imbalance who are having issues losing weight but then it gets me all the more frustrated for women out there who are uh, going down the wrong path 
um, trying to self-diagnose or who are being misdiagnosed or mistreated or both when it comes to hormonal imbalance. And I see this all the time. So one of the first things that I want to address is what I've been noticing quite a lot and even more recently um, in increasing doses, I'll say, on social media is this um, just preponderance of, of women talking about or even talking to me about or I'm just witnessing it on the social media platforms, just this utter, and sometimes it is, and I'm going to sound really snotty and maybe condescending. I, I maybe have to just be that way. It's tough love because some, I've had to have people give me tough love to get me to get started down the road of getting my blood work done, getting to a functional medicine doctor. So I'm going to do it, but there's some clueless, clueless women out there who just don't get that they're looking to Facebook to be their doctor. I've talked about this in other videos. I've talked about this in my podcast. They're looking to w other women who they barely know to diagnose them. They are f bitching and moaning and whining about their results, complaining about, I've gained so much weight. I have headaches and migraines all the time. I have no sex drive. My husband and I never have sex. Um, I'm losing my hair. I have hot flashes. I have night sweats. Um, I have, uh, ac adult uh, acne. I mean, I could go on and on and on about all the lists that are obvious hormonal perimenopause symptoms that anybody would, would stop and think like, these are hormone problems. And these women are going to other women on Facebook, other women on Instagram. They're coming to me or and they're complaining about these symptoms and they're asking for their friend's advice. What over-the-counter drug should I take? Should I take St. John's Wort? Should I take this, you know, um, well, I read this in Health Magazine or I saw that this celebrity said she's taking this. Should I take this? You know, I see people in fitness groups. I've talked about this before. It is just amazing that I still see this. And these posts that I see on social media will be a post that a woman will put up and there will be 175 comments of women who will chime in. They're like bees swarming to the hive. Let me chime in. Let me tell you what supplement to take. I'm not qualified. I'm not a doctor, but I'm going to sure as hell tell you what pillowcase to take that's going to solve your night sweats and that's going to balance your hormones. I've got news for you. No other person that you barely know on Facebook is going to balance your hormones for you. And that's not going to help your night sweats and it's not going to make you lose weight. And it's not going to help your testosterone. You need to go to a doctor. You need to get your blood work done. I don't know why this is such, and I always will chime in on these posts and usually write like a paragraph that's about this long because I want everybody in that thread to read it. And I will take the time to, you know, be the flag carrying Kelly Alexa. Let me be the hormone whisperer. I'll come in here and try to tell you guys like what I've learned. And usually somebody will like leave me a snotty comment back. Several people will say something nice. And I always offer, I'll say, you know, go listen to all these podcasts that I have out there that are for free. You can listen to all of these doctors that I've interviewed. Um, because you need to know that the only thing that is going to help you get pat like I've been there. I've done that. You're wasting your time. You will waste years. No over the counter supplement by itself. There's maybe 0.5% of the population that is going to miraculously benefit from ginger, uh, you know, in a supplement or St. John's wort or, you know, taking, uh, some essential oil by itself. And, and not have, and have their hormones balance. Okay. Most of us, I'm going to suggest again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a, a witch healer or whatever, but I'm going to suggest that 98% of us are going to need to get our blood work done. or going to need to go see a functional medicine doctor. And I would suggest that everybody watching this video, if you have, if you suspect you have hormone issues, if you have 
any or all of these symptoms. If you have loss of libido, if you have um, adult onset acne, if you have mood swings, if you have loss of hair, if you have massively dry skin, any kind of skin issues, if you have a major change in your bowel movements, you know, sudden constipation, sudden, you know, uh, diarrhea all of the time, if you have, um, what, have what did I say, libido, acne, hair, um, night sweats, uh, night sweats, inability to sleep. Um, we talked about, oh, obviously weight gain is a huge one. Sudden weight gain, sudden massive loss of weight. I mean, all of those things, these are indications that your body is massively changing. And especially if you're around that age of 40 plus, but here's the other news flash, like Women are experiencing hormonal problems at younger and younger ages. I've interviewed two women on my podcast who were in their 20s and experienced massive hormonal imbalances in their 20s. A good friend of mine, Sherry, started her hormonal imbalance experience at age 27. Um, these things are happening because of the um, xenoestrogens. I mean, that's a whole other topic, but we're focusing on hormonal imbalance for today. But Again, this first half of the video, I really want to focus on the stupidity that I see. And there's just no other way to, to talk about it other than to say, like, women, these women that I see all the time who, you know, part one is you're online, you're in Facebook groups, I see you outside of the gym, you're talking to your friends, and you're bitching and you're moaning about the you know, you felt this bad for five years. You haven't had sex with your husband in 10 years. You've been overweight for all of these years. You can't lose weight. You're, I mean, and I'll talk to these people and they're like, well, I've been, you know, I've been using this uh, progesterone cream that I got at my compound pharmacy. And I'm like, have you ever seen a doctor? No. Have you ever had blood work? No. Um, but my OBGYN says that, you know, I'm on Xanax and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Have you ever done anything? No. But my friend says that if I should just do that, oh, oh, well, if your friend says, then that's okay. And, but you're just going to keep complaining about it and keep thinking that maybe if you just complain about it, all of that complaining will just magically maybe plant a seed and then it's going to grow a tree and the tree is going to flower and maybe those, the tree will flower and drop some pills and those pills will just magically start to work for you. Is that, is that what you think is going to happen? Like, is that, is that what you're waiting for? Is, I'm not quite sure. Maybe you could let me know what you're waiting for. I'm not... That's how crazy this stuff is. These, like all of these women that I observe and <laughs> I hear, you guys have no idea the stories that I hear. And then people will private message me on these platforms all the, all the time. They ask for my advice and then they get argumentative with me. So they ask for my advice and I will, I will push them because why am I pushing them? Am I pushing, do you think I'm pushing people because I want to argue? Do, is that because I want to take time out of my day where I'm not getting paid by you because I, I love to argue? No, it's because I care, because I'm trying to save you time, because I don't want you to have to go through what I did. I, I know I've been there. I've done that. You will ultimately need to get blood work done and see a, bio, a bioidentical hormonal replacement specialist. And when you do, you will be like I did. You will probably be crying for joy in the office like I did, because when you get your blood work done, when you get comprehensive blood work done, and you have a doctor who will interpret those blood work results, and they will say, here's what's going on. Here's why you can't sleep. Here's why you don't want to have sex with your significant other. This is why. And when you understand why you're feeling that way, why you can't fall asleep, why uh, you have night sweats, when you understand that there's like a physiological clinical reason, and it's not just you, it's not like, you know, that it's just made up and that there's something that can be corrected with, with medication. And I don't mean Xanax. I don't mean like um, going on the pill. I don't mean going on Accutane to fix, you know, the, the, what they think is acne, which is probably something else. I talked about that in another video. It could be a food reaction like it was with me. It wasn't acne. A lot of times what, what doctors will do is a lot of OBGYNs or endocrinologists or nutritionists sometimes, they'll just, well, nutritionists, I shouldn't put them in this group. They can't prescribe this kind of stuff. But the number of women that are put on spironolactone or Accutane or the pill to correct an acne situation, which really is an acne, don't even get me started on this. 
women, you need to be proactive. You need to understand your hormones. And you need to understand that you shouldn't be asking your friends. You shouldn't be relying on a dietitian or a nutritionist to solve your hormones. You shouldn't be relying on Facebook to solve your hormones or Instagram. You shouldn't, and you certainly shouldn't be just coming to me. I'm not saying don't come, don't come to me. I'm not your expert. I'm not a doctor. You can come to me because I'm going to point you in the direction of getting your blood work done and getting to a functional medicine doctor. That's the best thing I'm here for. I'm a conduit. That's all. I'm going to be the person who's going to point you in the, the right direction of the right people. I'm not the person though. And I, I'm the person that's going to tell you like, stop talking to the wrong people. So that's part number one. Stop wasting your time complaining about all of the issues that you have, living in denial and wasting your time letting your body continue to deteriorate. Because you know what? The longer you do that, the more your body is getting into a state of deterioration hormonally and the harder, I don't want to say the harder it is to fix. That's a poor choice of words. The, the longer your healing will take. Start your healing now. Get to a functional medicine doctor. The sooner you get to a functional medicine doctor, the sooner you can be enjoying life. You guys, I'm going to say something that's going to sound a little confident, a little cocky, and I just don't care. I am 52 and I am feeling confident and fly as hell. I love my life. I love how I look. I love how I feel and I'm excited. And that's how I want you to feel. Do you know how many women I know that I graduated with? I'm sorry, that was poor grammar. How many women I know who I graduated with? They look 20 years older than I do. Or maybe it's just that I look 15 years younger than they do. Why is that? Because I choose health. I work out. I eat right. I don't do drugs. I don't drink like I'm you know, crazy, I don't smoke, um, and I take care of my health and my hormones. These people are way overweight, they haven't taken care of their hormones, they're depressed, they're on all of these different medications, they're on antidepressant, they're on statin drugs, they're on anti-cholesterol anti drugs. I could go on and on and on. Two different lifestyles, two different people can look 40 years apart. This is not a way to live. Anti-aging, and, and a focus on anti-aging and health can, <laughs> you can be leading two different lives. Which ones do you, which, which life do you want to choose? That's what I'm talking about. I mean, here's the question. Which life do you want to live? Do you want to choose to like give up on yourself and, and, and just li look forward to a life where you're unhealthy and you, you lay on the couch and you're tired and exhausted all the time and you, you don't even want to look in the mirror? Or do you want to live a life where you're just beginning your life at age 40 and every chapter, every decade is more exciting for you and, and you love your life more at age 50, at age 60, at age 70 and beyond? I'm looking forward to the coming decades. I don't know about you. I feel better about myself now than I did when I was 30. And that's the God's honest truth. How do you feel about yourself versus 10 years ago, versus 20 years ago, versus 30 years ago? That's a deep question and I mean it. I want you to think about that. Okay guys, we're halfway through the video. What do you think? Is this hitting a nerve? Is this making you feel like, oh my God, is she talking about me in particular? Don't worry, I'm not talking about anybody in particular, but these are things I have observed. I would love to hear from you. Even if you hate this video and it's bothering you, you can certainly hit the unlike button or hit the like button and leave a comment, leave a question. Let me know how I can help you. Ultimately, I am here, like I said, to help all of you. I'm here to help you get to a better place where your hormones are balanced, where you're loving your life versus hating your life. So let me know what questions you have, what you're confused about, how I can help you. Hey guys, so second part of this video, I want to just get to some bullet points. And a lot of these bullet points are going to be previews of what we're going to be talking in some of the future videos. So as I've said before, I am going to be having my doctor, Dr. Ruthie Harper, um, who is brilliant. She has agreed to come on the show and be interviewed. So please remember what I've said before. 
Whatever questions you have in general, it doesn't have to be specifically about what I've talked about in this video, but whatever questions you have about hormonal imbalance for women, if it's hypothyroidism, if it's cortisol, if it's adrenal fatigue, any of these topics that I've alluded to, feel free to leave your questions in the comments below on this video and any of my hormonal imbalance related videos that are in the, um, playlist that I'm linking to below as well. Let me know your questions. We are going to be curating those and making sure that we address those in the series that I will be doing with her so that we address those. So make sure that you know that that's coming up. Obviously, make sure you're subscribed so that you'll be notified when that's coming up as well. Um, we will have that featured over on kellyalexa.com and that'll go out in the newsletter uh, on kellyalexa.com as well. So make sure you're subscribed over there as well. Um, but as we dive into part two or the second half of this video, one of the things that I just want to make abundantly clear, I talked in the first half of this video about, you know, what not to do. Stop wasting your time going down the online Facebook is your doctor diagnosis, but simultaneously stop self-diagnosing really. I mean, that would be the same thing. Stop trying to self-diagnose. I mean, I did the same thing, you guys. I did the reading up on every single book on hypothyroidism, cortisol, adrenal fatigue. Bottom line is you're not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. We don't know how to self-diagnose ourselves. And <laughs> that was a really silly question, silly sentence. We don't know how to self-diagnose, diagnose ourselves. Is that what I said? Anyway, don't waste time in self-diagnosis. Get to a doctor. Um, and, and again, I will link up to a fantastic organization called Ulta Lab Tests. Um, they will save you a ton of money. I've talked about this in pretty much any, every video that I have out there on this topic of hormonal imbalance. If you, trust me, I know the process. If you go out and get your blood work done first, you will save yourself time and money because if you were to go make an appointment with a functional doctor first, what's likely going to happen is you will, you will make an appointment with a functional doctor. They will do an interview or an intake with you first. Then they will order you to go get blood work. So you'll pay for the first appointment with the doctor. Then they'll have you go get blood work done. You'll pay for the blood work. Then you'll come back just to have the doctor review the blood work. So you're paying for two appointments. If you go get your blood work done first, you have your blood work. You can go to that first appointment with the doctor. The doctor can review the blood work with you. You save yourself a consult fee. So be proactive, go to Ulta lab tests, pay for a comprehensive um, hormonal blood work. It might not be everything that that doctor wants to see from you, but if you get you know, uh, one of their packages where you're covering your thyroid, you're covering your, your um, your, your thyroid, your estrogen, your testosterone, your progesterone, you're gonna be pretty well covered with most uh, functional medicine doctors. And then that way they've got a baseline where pretty much they can have a good conversation with you and probably get you on some medication to start. And again, you're saving yourself some of those upfront costs. So that's number one, get your blood work done, get yourself with a functional medicine doctor. When you're picking a functional medicine doctor, make sure you're doing a, a good amount of research. And the great thing that, that is a result of this wonderful pandemic that we've all been through is so many doctors now are providing telemedicine. My doctor, Dr. Ruthie Harper, I've never seen her in person. I've only seen her via telemedicine. In fact, we've only done a phone call. Sorry, it's afternoon ketones time. Um, and she's fantastic. And obviously she's changed my whole life. So there used to be so many limitations because there's just not as many functional medicine doctors at, uh, in every state. But now that's great because you can see somebody via te uh, telemedicine and that takes away uh, the barriers to entry. So that's fantastic. Um, here's something i feel really strongly about i say this pretty much in every video but it is really worth saying because this is another mistake i see everybody making and it absolutely drives me insane stop relying on a nutritionist or a dietitian to be your functional medicine doctor stop relying on your OBGYN to be your guide 
for solving your hormones. You might think that sounds crazy. I'm going to say, this is my opinion, 90% of OBGYNs are not trained in functional medicine and in bioidentical treatment. And in fact, most of them don't think it is worth um, pursuing. Most OBGYNs, their answer is going to be to put you on the pill. Don't even get me started on that. What will, what putting you on the pill is going to do to your hormones. It's going to jack up your hormones and set you up for more disaster. Um, <laughs> and my OBGYN uh, set me up with a dermatologist who put me on spironolactone. Don't go to a dermatologist. I am not also a fan of endocrinologists for dealing with your hormones. Um, so I'm not a fan of OBGYNs. I'm not a fan of endocrinologists. I'm not a fan of dermatologists. I am a fan of a functional medicine doctor or an integrative medicine doctor, period. Um, occasionally you will find, um, you know, a holistic Western focused medicine specialist. Occasionally your primary care doctor is not somebody you should be seeing for your hormones. Anybody who will not show you your own blood work or who says, Oh, I'll do some blood work for you and doesn't even tell you what blood work they're ordering for you. And then doesn't show you the blood work and says, Oh, your blood works fine. There's nothing wrong with you and prescribe Xanax. You should run from them and probably sue them. I'm just saying, um, these are all medical practitioners who are out there. I've heard these stories from real people. Anybody who's prescribing you antidepressants because you are um, complaining about the symptoms that you're complaining about and who says, oh, well, this is just part of getting old. You should just relax and enjoy it is full of shit. Um, anybody who tells you that you should just accept that this is that time of life and that you shouldn't be expecting to enjoy sex or um, you shouldn't be expecting to have a vibrant sex life. Um, you shouldn't be expecting to lose weight or look good at this time of life. Really? Give me a break. Um, all of that is stuff that you should be ignoring and running from. Okay. And if you need recommendations for how to find the right doctor, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to help you. So what do we want to say in summary? <laughs> we want to avoid the crazies. We want to avoid self-diagnosis. We want to avoid talking to people on Facebook. We want to avoid going in fitness groups and asking other people about over-the-counter supplements for our hot flashes. We want to avoid asking our friends at the gym for how we solve our, um, you know, I, I haven't been able to lose weight for five years. We want to avoid, if we're talking about a problem we've had for five years, we want to stop talking to other people for five more years about that problem. We want to go to a doctor. What kind of doctor do we want to go to? Do we want to go to an OBGYN? No. Do we want to go to our primary care doctor? No. Do we want to go to an endocrinologist? No. Who do we want to go to? Who do we want to go to? Say it out loud, everybody. Who do we want to go to? Functional medicine doctor. Integrative medicine doctor. Do we want to go to a psychologist? No. Do we want to go to a kindergarten teacher? No. Do we want to go to a nutritionist? No. Do we want to go to a personal trainer? No. Do we want to go to Kelly Alexa? No. Only to ask Kelly Alexa how we get our blood work done and how we find a functional medicine doctor. That's all I got for today, you guys. I've got stuff to do. My husband's going to be coming home. We're going to have sushi tonight. Yes, we're going to have sushi tonight. In case you guys are wondering why I'm saying yes, we're having sushi. Um, I'm going to link up at the end of this video. But a big part of why I've had such success um, and, and what's been part of uh, the successful hormonal balance and, and part of the diet equation has been going keto. And yes, I do have race occasionally on keto, just in smaller amounts. But I have discovered uh, just recently the joy of cauliflower rice, but I don't do cauliflower rice for sushi. I digress. I am looking forward to sushi tonight though. So uh, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to let you guys go. I hope this, this video was helpful for you guys. Um, if so, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. I will see you guys next time. Uh, remember, we always do new videos here 
uh, every Tuesday and Thursdays, and I've got new blogs going live on kellyalexa.com every Monday and Wednesday. So make sure that you are subscribed over at kellyalexa.com as well. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hey guys, I hope this video was super helpful for you. Obviously, it's a subject I'm very passionate about. I've included a playlist for you with all of my other videos thus far on hormones. Check it out.